Canada, I don't need to tell you, it's been a hot summer. That is true, and a long week. So this morning, we've got some refreshing options to cool you down while picking you up. Here with her top cold brews is mixologist Chantel Gabino. Chantel, yes. thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm going to start off with a really fun a uh, little science project that you can have at home with your children okay, or yeah. any of the family members. So what is this, a sweet pea iced tea? Because I like the sound of that. Tea. Yeah, we're going to start off with a basic honey syrup. Okay. And none of this really needs to be measured. We can just go based on the sweetness that you really like. Okay. Mm. Uh, I have some lemon juice here, which is really going to help the color change. Now, the reason why we're using lemon juice is because it changes the pH balance levels of this sweet pea. Oh, I have nice. a red tea here. Uh, we have hibiscus, so okay. we can just add some of that hibiscus in there. This, so this is a real change from your typical iced tea. This is a real change from the typical iced tea because we're going to add see some very vibrant colors. Okay, we right. already know that uh, with herbal teas, they tend to be a little bit more on the tannic side. Can I try shaking that? Oh, for sure. Okay, go Just tell me when now, to stop. Uh, yeah, but you can yeah, stop there you right go. there. Oh, so there we're going to add some of this tea, the sweet tea oh, flowers, boy. That is a bright blue. blue. Super, super blue. And we're just going to add that in right there. And now wow. when you, we open this, okay. just give it a nice little hit. Wow going to take that bam, out. Bam. Okay. Now, if you don't have a fancy cocktail shaker at home, yeah, you know, what can you use? a simple protein shaker will do. And nice. we're just going to strain this out, and you're going to watch that color change. Whoa. Now, when we stir it with a little bit more lemon juice on the top, it's just going to go. That's beautiful. Right? Fusion. That looks tasty. And now, obviously, this is a virgin. This is a virgin. You can add vodka to any of these cocktails. Okay. I left a little bit of room here because, again, with these teas, you can add a little bit of soda or maybe even some 7-Up. And uh, we're just going to add a nice little garnish here on the side. Lemon does the trick. So. Yes, it always does, especially when it's super hot. Like tomorrow, Ben, yes. it's going to feel like 40 in Toronto. Oh, boy. So okay. we're going to need something like oh, this. Oh, we're going to be melting. All right. Oh, yes. And uh, some nice little herbs also do the trick in terms of giving it that herbaceous note. I know everyone has a nice little garden. I hope mm -hmm. you do as well. Uh, <laughs> just ready to pick and pluck and put into some delicious cocktails. All right. Like I want to give this a whirl. Here we go. I'm going to yeah, give it a try it. as well. There we go. Cheers. Okay, Cheers, now Beth. we're going to move on to our coffee cocktail. Oh, that's good. Mm. Now, these are my favorite, especially when tart. I decide... Yeah, so yes, as, now time for some, co uh, some coffee. Yeah. When I don't drink alcohol, this is uh, one of my favorite options to drink any time When I'm not drinking alcohol, I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> <Is> that's <laughs> that... pretty much how it goes. Uh, you can make cold brew at home. It's not as uh, hard as people may think. Mm -hmm. All you would do is take some uh, whole beans, yeah. grind them up, add them in some water at room temperature, maybe you put them in the fridge, and uh -huh. we're just going to add a few ounces. So four ounces of this is going to go in... And what are the benefits of cold brew versus brewing it regularly and then sticking some ice in it? Uh, well, it's the acid levels. For people okay. that have a hard time with acid, this is a really great option okay. to make it easy on your tummy. The acid uh, tends to be harsh, so making cold brew oh, okay. tones that down a little well, good bit. Good to know. Vanilla act extract, if you like, uh, to, just to amplify those sure. flavors. Some maple syrup, if you want some sweetener sure. in it. And is there a certain amount of maple syrup you should put in? Or Again, it's all depending on your own flavor yeah. palette, because you want your own sweetness. Everybody's different. Yeah. And I like adding some bitters in here. I got some beautiful wow. coffee bitters from Bitters Link. Just throwing that in there to amplify some of those flavors and uh, some chocolate. Now, I'm going to get Ben to shake this one. Yes, I can do that. I just uh, love a good shake, you know? Now, I really need you to give a really good shake because oh. what you're going to see oh. is we didn't add any cream to this. You okay. can if you wish. All right. But you're going to get a really beautiful froth on Shake that. it, Ben. Shake, shake it. it shake it. Shake it like a pool of oil. Shake it like a I think it's a picture. Wife. You know, oh, Polaroid, is it a picture? Finger? No, f f Polaroid figure. <laughs> yeah, Polaroid no, it's picture. a Polaroid pi yeah, picture. Yeah, it's been a long morning. <laughs> I got a little out cap, though. We, nice, yeah. nice one. Yeah, okay. right on the vibe. Now, see that? Wow. Whoa. I did that. You did that. <laughs> you put the elbow grease to make that happen. Now, we can just strain that out. And the best thing about this foam is, you know, you don't have to have any cream for those people that have a little bit of a lactose yeah. allergy. Uh, this is a great way to that add some creaminess and viscosity that. to a cocktail. It's so frothy. It is very frothy. It'll settle down in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Brandon, yes. see those uh, espresso beans right next right to you? Right over here? Because this foam is so stable, yeah. you can plop a few, a few of those oh, on yeah. top. Oh, yeah, like a little right. pop-up? Yep, and we can actually do this one a little lighter. Okay. Yes, yeah, there way. we go. A little bit. A little okay. <laughs> All right, we, we've got to move so on to the next good. one here. Yeah. We'll taste that in a second. Uh, Coffee-infused bitter. Uh, some people like to use Aperol. I like Campari. Okay. Mm. Again, it really all depends so this, on now, your now favorite you're, you're really elevating this one. Really elevating it. So all you're doing is taking your favorite bitter, uh, putting a handful of coffee beans in it, again at room temperature. You're letting it sit down uh, at room temperature or in the fridge. 
And this is just a classic summer sipper for the patio. Oh, really refreshing. Campari infused coffee. Okay. Or sorry, coffee infused Campari with some soda. Now I did a really wonderful little garnish here just to again amplify those flavors and really mm -hmm. elevate them. We have Beautiful. a little bit of orange oil with some mint and just gonna toss it in there like that. Typically at home though, this shouldn't take no longer than it 10 takes a couple minutes. of hours to make this okay. and then for that. We only have a few seconds. seconds left for this one here. Uh, what is this? Because this looks gorgeous. Fantastic. It's Basically, just a little bit of sugar and some Earl Grey tea that have again been cold steep, so room temperature. Yeah, nice. You don't want to extract too many of the tannins. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of uh, lemon yeah. and some soda water. And I just sliced up some cucumber. I want to try this Give one. that a nice little stir. This is your classic summer tea. And you were saying during one of the breaks that you, you can add certain types of booze to almost all, to all of these. Gin, tequila, vodka, but you know, we're keeping it friendly and inclusive. This is yes. good, cheers. cheers. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Don't, don't forget for your There we go. Thank and you. for all these recipes that you can make on your own, check out our website, yourmorning.ca.